why we need to do all this modification to our mechanical keyboards. Do you want to know why? Stay until end of this video. Today I want to give you step-by-step -step guide how to mod or how to do modification to any of mechanical keyboards. As example, I will use this Royal Clutch RK84 from Royal Clutch brand. This is a good example of mechanical keyboard with everything what we need and a battery and well-structured case and all of that. I will explain what does it mean mechanical keyboard, I will explain what does it mean keycap, key switch, how to open key switch, how to open case, what different types of modification you can apply to the case, additional foam, painter type, scotch mod, how to assemble back the keyboard and how to add lubricant inside the switch, but to be more fun we will do the change of the switch to this Akko version 3 Pro black and blue. It's a linear and tactile switches. switches. And final step, we will apply new set of keycaps. Step 1 of any modification for mechanical keyboard, you need to have your tool set ready for you. So, first of all, you need keycap puller, switch puller, switch opener, grabber, some additional tool set for case opener or to open the case brushes lubricant some cleaning materials and in case if you want to do any of mentioned modification you need to have additional foam painter scotch and all of that recommendation before you are going to remove all keycaps switches and do all this work just take a sound test before all of this to be able to compare with your result after. Step 2. You need to remove all key caps and all key switches before you are going to disassemble case of the keyboard. For that you need keycap puller, something like this, or something much more simple, with what is coming together usually with any mechanical keyboard, something like this. You need to just catch the keycap and pull it up, and that's all. Basically, this is a keycap. Usually, this keycap is should be double shot, two layer. One is external layer and was one is internal layer it could be it could be two types of keycaps shine through or like this which is not shining through basically the difference is the light from rgb is coming through this legend or not this is two difference also it's two difference of profiles um, but this is like advanced details for the next videos next what you need to do is pull the switch and this is a key switch and basically what does it mean switch when you're pressing the key cap it's switching this mechanism inside from off to on and keyboard is receiving signal through these two pins through these two, two pins what you can see on a, on the back side of the switch and that's all and this this is why this keyboard is called mechanical keyboards because they have this mechanical switch inside let me show you how to open the switch for this you need a switch opener it could be two types from one type on the left side another type on the right side it's for different type of switches in this case we need to use this side you should you should unclick from the one side and from another side and that's all let me show you what usually you should expect inside the switch inside each or most of the switches you should expect spring housing of the switch steam part which is going up and down and mechanical parts basically this metal elements which is regi re registering key press when you're pressing the button and that's all very simple now time to remove everything from top side of the keyboard next step is to remove all key switches to remove a switch you need to you need to have a tool you, you, you can have it something like this or something more simple like this and basically always you need to catch one leg from the 
north side and one leg from the south side and pull it up and that's all from switches point of view always what you need to know it's a two type of switches one is like this with one two three four five pins but for more simple keyboards and switches you may have only three pins without these two additional legs main types of different switches one type is linear you your press is just straightforward from beginning to the end and another type of switches is tactile tactile means that you have a bump on the middle of the press of the switch and this bump if you like it uh, creates very interesting and pleasant typing experience and all other parameters of the switches are really very small nuances because it all depends on the what force you need to apply to the switch to make a press and it may vary from 40 or up to 60 plus gram force and it's all about your preference would you like to have a strong presses or light presses do you want to have clicky keyboard with a high sound or you want to have it silence it's up, up always up to your preference and all of this included inside the switch all these parameters except different types of switches you should know that also one of the main parameter of any switch is the parameter you can see it in the description if this switch are pre-looped or not on a factory it means what does it mean pre-loop so manufacturer on the factory may add lubricant inside the switch on the side of the steam and inside the spring to make it more smooth and quiet and pleasant for typing you can do it by yourself and this is one of the modification of mechanical keyboard what we can do and will do today but in general, if it's pre-looped, it's more premium quality, quality than not pre-looped switch. Next step in mechanical keyboard modification or mods is to disassemble the case of the keyboard because you need to get under the plate and see what is inside the case. Let's check this together. Obviously for this you will need some screwdriver. Let's unscrew this, this plate and let's see what we have inside. Always, uh, please be careful with opening the case because usual, if you are if you are doing this with wired or rather wireless uh, keyboards inside the case, you will find a battery, and you usually, of, of course, you will find the USB-C connection module, and both of these modules connected to the PCB. So you need to unconnect these two modules or more. For example, you may have knob or other devices on the on the top of the keyboard uh, and all of them will be connected to PCB so be careful first simple mod everybody can do this is a painter type mod and idea of this mod is to add the painter type on the back side of the PCB and PCB is the plate main plate where all these components um, attached and from front side you see this additional plate to centralized switches and you, you, you have some foam uh, inside to like make more silence. So this is a good example of good structured PCB plate. Let's add our type painter type on the back side of the keyboard and also obviously make sure that you will leave a holes for the screws right and you will leave a place for the switches this is on off and bluetooth and wi wireless and leave a space for the two connectors one okay we are done with this mod and let's move on second mod what we can do while we are inside the case is to add some additional foam to this place because usually a lot of empty space inside the keyboard provides not the best sound in this case we have we have some foam and case itself are not super big i will add just a little tiny piece of foam here and there just to reduce vibration of the case next step is carefully assemble back keyboard inside the case another hint from my side always check that keyboard still working before applying switches and keycaps because if you forget something inside uh, it will be a lot of work to to redo everything okay next stage to check what is going on with the 
another part of mechanical keyboard and this is mechanical stabilizers. You have the stabilizers around biggest keys on a keyboard, usually it's four of them, backspace, shift, or what is it, enter, shift and space. We are gonna to check how they build in this case and I will explain what you can do with them in general. To eject stabilizers, you need to catch these two legs. It could be on north side or south side, it depends on the keyboard and manufacturer and just eject this metal bar in between of PCB and this plastic or in this case maybe metal plate. Again, main parameter of the stabilizer, stabilizers, they can be pre-looped, like in this case, you see this white material inside or not. And if not, it makes sense to do several adjustments, but in this case they, they are really very well pre-looped and I don't think we need to do anything. Also, make sure that you can see this foam part in this area under the space, if not, you can add your own foam to fill this gap. It will help to remove rattle from the spacebar. Now let me show you how you can add lubricant to your switches if they are not pre-looped or maybe you want to enhance their sound. As I mentioned earlier in this video, you need to open the switch and you need to use some switch opener what you have or you, you may order some from Amazon for example. It's a lot of them and they're really cheap. So you need to disassemble switch and you need to add lubricant into the two places inside the switch and you need to use simple brush for it. First place where you need to add this lubricant is this rails from the one and another side. I'm using this GRX205 G0 but you, you can use any lubricant available for you for this purpose. Let's add on one side of the steam and on another side. You need really little amount of this lubricant. There you go, on one side and another. And second place where you need to add lubricant is a spring. This time I'm just showing you how to lubricate one switch as example, but in case when you need to do it for whole like whole keyboard, it's a quite time consuming. It's better to have a lubrication station and uh, it's a different approach how to lubricate uh, springs. I will show you all of it in the next video where I will be uh, lubing like whole bunch of key switches for the next keyboard. But in this case, it's simple as is. And you need to assemble back the switch, putting back the spring. One important nuance, how to assemble the switch. These switches are not symmetrical. You need to know how to insert uh, the steam. And basically we have two sides of the switch. One side with this metal mechanism and another one is RGB window, just this empty space. And on the steam you can see this additional legs. These legs basically are pushing this metal part together to connect them and to register the press. You need to insert the steam in a way that this additional legs will face metal part of the switch and obviously it means that it should be opposite from the RGB window side. You will understand when you will do it by yourself. And now you need to connect these two parts, housing to the metal part, RGB window to RGB window. And you should hear two clicks. There we go. And now you can hear the difference. I hope it's this difference is clear. Next stage, you have two options. Or you are gonna to add lubricant into your switches and use them. Or you may choose something else from the market. Today I'm gonna to use this Aqua version 3 Pro switches, Creme Black Pro, and they are linear, but, but with a high operation point around 60 force GF. One hint for you, uh, while you are selecting new switches for your keyboard, you need to make sure that amount of pins on a key switch supported by your PCB plate. In case your PCB plate support only three switches, you need to search only for three, three switches pin. If five, doesn't matter, like your keyboard will support any switches, three or five. It's always only two pins inside 
the switch it matters only like this two additional plastic or not okay let's go and insert new switches into the keyboard another hint while you are inserting switches inside your PCB plate, make sure that you understand where is the RGB light and where is the RGB window on a switch and make sure that these two pins are looking to the bottom side of the... in this case, because it could be two options or north facing or south facing. Another hint for you, while you are ordering some switches, you need to count how many switches do you need? Because usually they are going by like 33, 45 amount per pack. In my case, I have switches only for main part of this keyboard. I will be using another blue version tactile for the all keys around main later later part of the keyboard. It will add some additional uniqueness to my new keyboard, and in this way, you may do the different typing experience for example if you are a gamer maybe you need to have linear speed switches in this part but others can be tactile for typing experience or if you are just mainly typing you can have uh, this part is mainly tactile and everything else is something different it's all about your preference so do not be afraid to do something wrong with your switches even if you will a little bit damage the pin you always can put it back just try to avoid doing this many times because obviously it will fall apart there we go your own unique set of switches for your unique mechanical keyboard now the most fun part because the switches you will feel them always during using your keyboard but keycaps you will see always them this is aesthetical part and this is performance part let's apply these keycaps to these switches. And now the most pleasant, the most interesting and pleasant moment of any of the keyboard modification. Final sound test. Usually it's like this, it's a day and night. Now, we can answer the question what I asked you at the beginning of this video. Why do we need to do a modification of mechanical keyboard? That's why. At the end, you will have your own unique with your touch, with your soul inside. It will be very unique keyboard it will be your keyboard and you can do it whatever you like it and you will know that this keyboard is a not mass production it's your personal keyboard with your personal touch and your personal enhancement and if you if you are in this you know game of mechanical keyboard you understand what i'm talking about if not just try once you will understand Guys, if you like more read how I did this with all the step-by-step -step instructions, please visit my uh, blog website. I will write everything what I did uh, in my post article, step-by-step -step instruction how to do your first modification of your mechanical keyboard. If you want to see results of my other modification, please check this video on my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.